Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on the channel. So in this video, we're going to look back at one of the best necromancy money making methods for the first couple of weeks for skill. We're going to be looking at lesser necroplasm. So since it was first released, there have been a few changes to the skill and a few buffs you can now have to make sure you can get as much necroplasm for your rituals as possible. Now, not only necroplasm makes money with rituals, also crafting the bars, upgrading armor, and also turning the buckets of slime into ectoplasm can also be a way for you to make a lot of GP through rituals. Now, when people mention rituals, people think of necroplasm as an absolute first, but it's getting creative with the necromancy items, which is what's going to bring you the profit. Now, in this video, we are mainly going to be looking at necroplasm, but please make sure to check how upgrading the lanterns, the death guard, and also the armors can make you profit as well. I imagine once I've got enough things like hermodic plates on the account and I've got enough bars, we will eventually do a video on the necromancy armors and weapons again, Maybe in a month or two, once uh, once we've collected enough of that, I have to force myself to go back to Hermod. So that is where the delay is going to be. But for you guys, I'll go embrace it and I'll go and do it. And eventually we'll go and do the armors and weapons again. However, in this video, we're going to be looking at exoplasm and necroplasm as well for our money making method. Now, one of the big things which has happened since the release of necromancy is the moonstone jewelry. And with the moonstone jewelry and especially for rituals, the alteration necklace is a huge upgrade. This gives you a chance to increase your alteration glyphs, your multiply glyphs by 20% during a ritual. And for the price we paid for it, it only come in at a price of 1.5 mil. So we're going to make this back within an hour. Um, currently, as it stands, necromancy in doing like lesser necroplasm is roughly about 6 to 7 mil. So in 15 minutes, we'll pay for this. And not only that, for the long run and for why we do this, it will bring us some profit as well. Now, before we get going, there are different tiers of rituals where you can make more and more money by. So I just wanted to go through and make sure we talk about them all as well. So really, we're looking at having tier three in terms of a ritual site. That is level 90's requirement. To make the optimum amount of GP, to make the optimum amount of GP, we want eight multiply three glyphs, which is looking to be roughly about 103 necromancy. However, it's tier 90 necromancy where you're using eight multiply two glyphs. You are going to be making the 6.4 mil per hour. And then at level 66, where you're using the tier two ritual and four multiply glyphs, you're looking to make 3.8 to four mil per hour. What I'd really encourage you though is to get to 90 necromancy as soon as possible. So the next double XP weekend, if you don't have something like 90 necromancy, push for that on a double XP. It'll be quicker, it'll be easier. And not only that, 90 necromancy really opens the gate to higher tier rituals but also gives you a very viable combat method as well. So without further ado, um, the other big upgrade as well is the Tomb of Um 2, which is for the task system. This is for the tier 2 task system for the City of Um. If you do not have this, I cannot recommend it highly enough. It has its massive place in collecting ashes for money-making methods. It's got teleports to the Smithy and the Ritual, and also gives you a 5% chance to have increased uh, necroplasm from rituals as well. And also when runecrafting, um, you get a 5% extra chance of making extra essence as well. So make sure that both that and the tomb are wielded. We're going to go and teleport to the ritual site now. Now, we do have a new ritual site, which I haven't really done because I've not done the quest. Again, I'm sorry, but I will at some point get to it. No one's made too much noise about the new ritual site, so I can't imagine it's going to be anything too huge. Now, what you want to be doing um, with your ritual, once your ritual set up, you want to be doing as many multiply glyphs as you possibly can because this is what helps to rack up your um, total multiply percentage, which is going to give you more of the necroplasm at the end, which is what you really want. So here, I'm going to kit mine out. And if you do have 99 necromancy as well, you do have an extra glyph on the cape. Mine is for multiply, but I'm actually going to go and get it just in case I need to wield it as well. But as you see, we're getting a huge multiply percentage. Let me go and grab my cape. I can now do my 120 cape, actually. Uh, first time for that. Necro, we go. And again, this is a really, really valid way to make some um, GP on the account. And as you see, we're up to 676%. This is a really valid way to make some GP on account while being very AFK as well. Now, this is the skill I do on the Bond account. We don't do Necroplasm. We mainly do like bars to upgrade lanterns and death guards. But this is what I do on the Bond account a lot while I'm doing things on the main account and while I'm making GP as well. Like, it's a really good AFK way. Gives me a little bit of necromancy XP, but also makes me a lot of GP as well. And the fact that this level and my level of doing this, I can make 8 mil per hour 
no effort, no attention, nothing apart from just clicking every now and then and repairing the pedestal. Really easy. Now, a lot of people can turn around and say, well, how is this any better than some of the archaeology methods, some of the other AFK methods you've shown us, which can generate us like even more XP? A good comparison really would be something like doing Hellfire Metal, which could be up to 10 mil per hour, or actually fletching. Fletching um, is very low effort, but can make something like 15, 90 mil per hour. And it's a good point, really, because I'm choosing to do a different method, but I like variety. I like having options. I like a more laid back method. Fletching is very, very good, but I wanted to show people who maybe not don't have a fletching level to do those kind of methods. Here's an alternative if you've got the archaeology route. And it's what we try to do on the channel as much as we can is to give loads of different options for loads of different people. So we try and help as many people as possible to discover what they can do for a money making method, what they can do to improve their account, what they can do to improve their GP as well as all these different options as well. And maybe someone watching this video can look and think, well, necromancy looks really chill, looks really easy. I am going to aim to get the benefit of making this GP per hour. And I know there are the comments which will be, well, you can just go and do rise for 100 mil per hour. Yes, you can do that. Quite happily, you could do that. But we're not targeting that. We're targeting, this is a really good AFK method. This is a really good way to train your necromancy. This is a way to do that while making GP. If you want to go make GP, go do rise your Rise will be one of the best GPs in the game, along with Zami and all the other sort of PVM tiers. But not everyone is a top tier PVMer, and that's why I like to show all the options and all the different money making methods as well. Now, as you see, with our buffs, we brought in 681 Necroplasm, which is a decent chunk of change, really. Um, we can actually go and check how much GP that is. Uh, necroplasm. So for every ritual, we did 20 Ectoplasm. And we did 621. So for every ritual we're doing, we're doing 140k per ritual, which is actually really good. The wiki suggests you should be doing anywhere upwards towards 90 rituals per hour, which is pretty mega, but you do need to remember that we are using inks and we are using supplies to do it. So even though we've made sort of 150k, we're doing 90 per hour, that's about 13.5 mil. You do need to take something off for all the inks, which is about right for us to be about 8 to 9 mil profit per hour as well. But as you can see, I'm not sort of interacting with any of the random events. If you want more XP, if you want more loot, also if you want a chance of moonstones and stuff like that, interact and you'll get more XP as a benefit. I just don't want to pay attention and I just want a hard AFK rituals as well. So even though it's been a good 10 months now, we're very close to like a year of necromancy. Rituals still have their place. They still have their place. And with my experience on the bond account, the armors and weapons really really can spike at times it's amazing like how low volume they can be and what sort of profit you can pull from them so rituals definitely do have their place again necromancy was so good um as a release and i i don't think like nowadays when you look at the profit people were making the first couple of weeks with necroplasm you sort of look and think why did i go and train it like why why didn't i just bed in do necroplasm and make a small fortune from that um to start with which Again, you learn from these updates, you learn from like days of release and stuff. You just try and get invested in the content, which is what we did. But people really, really like banked out with the um, Necroplasm on day of release. But it's still solid now. Still a really good free to play method, really good way to build your free to play stuff. And the way I suggest people to start free to play off. Again, don't ignore the um, Ectoplasm method. Buckets of slime, if you've got any left from all those holiday events, or if you go and collect it from Robin every day um, with your Mauritania diary, that's a really good way to make some GP. Ectoplasm down a bit at the minute. It's 2.2k because obviously it gets pounded, but I will not be surprised if this starts to wean its way back up because the way it's going out of the game with people using necromancy, it's no doubt going to be a viable method to make money, maybe in another month or two, and then people will jump in and cash out as well. But keep an eye on the Ectoplasm price. I think as soon as it gets 3k, if you've got any slime, convert it to ectoplasm, use your multipliers, and then go and make some more profit there. But that is going to be the end of this video. Oh, look, goes cat. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure to give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I am looking for some content ideas, so if you've got any videos you want to see, please make sure to put it in the comment section below. I'm always here for your guys' suggestions. They are brilliant all the time, so um, make sure to throw them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching once again. If you are new to the channel and you've never seen this content before, I do six videos, maybe seven videos a week. Please make sure to throw me a subscription if you do enjoy the content. I am aiming towards 5k by the end of the year. Thank you guys for watching once again. I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.